the world may not be able to return to a pre-pandemic lifestyle until at least 2022, billionaire Bill Gates and Dr. Samya Swaminathan, chief science officer at the World Health Organization, said this week. We're still at the beginning of it, said Dr. David Nabarro, a WHO special envoy on COVID-19, according to The Guardian. None of us find the present situation anything other than horrible, grotesque, really embarrassing. It's a terrible situation, a health issue has got so out of control it's knocking the world into, not just a recession, but a huge economic contraction which would probably double the number of poor people, double the number of malnourished, lead to hundreds of millions of small businesses going bankrupt. There have been 29.4 million confirmed cases of the coronavirus reported globally, as well as 931,272 deaths. Experts warn that the fall in the Northern Hemisphere may bring a surge in cases and deaths due to the complications arising from battling COVID-19 during the flu season. U.S. President Trump and the GOP Trump has floated the idea that a vaccine could arrive in a matter of weeks, before the November presidential election. During the Republican National Convention late in August, several speakers described the pandemic in the past tense, despite tens of thousands of new cases identified in the U.S. daily. Full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.